Hello and welcome back to another Poetry Corner. And if you would like to see more Poetry Corners, you can do so by clicking up to the right. If you would like to be part of the my YouTube channel where I put out Poetry Corners plus lots of other things, you can click down below. Down below. Like, go to Australia and click on it or something. And if you go to Australia, get me a ticket, I'll go with you. I always wanted to see Australia. Oh, I'm sorry. Back to the Poetry Corner. Hi. So today's poem is going to come out of my book, Spirals, available on Amazon. Uh, a Spirals, a collection of poetry. Today's one is called Individualism. Uh, and sometimes I would keep track of poetry by writing the year that I wrote it. In this case, I wrote this in 1987, which... I know that some of you watching this video weren't even born yet. Oh, well. I know that the, my producer that's doing this video wasn't even born yet. I feel old. Anyways, individualism. Come, let us celebrate our differences. Grow through the sharing of our individualities. Let us not enable each other to stagnate by discussing our similarities. Share you with me, and it will make me more. And I, sharing me with you, will discover something new. For then I will see me through your eyes and see me differently. So come, let us celebrate Celebrate our differences. Let me help me teach me to love you for the differences that make you who you are. You know, I've started adding little things at the end of my poetry corners, and I don't know if I'll do it for every poetry corner, but I read that and I think I wrote that in 1987, and I don't think that those words were ever more needed than they are today in 2021. If we could learn to celebrate our differences, if we could look at people's whatever, their religion, their ethnicity, their gender, their backgrounds, their uh, orientations, whatever it is, as an opportunity to help us become more, to learn more about ourselves, to celebrate the diversity. And if we did more of that today, we would have less of what's going on of armed camps, fighting over sometimes words they don't even understand or concepts that they don't get, but somebody has riled them up and they need to fight against something and they are attached to words that inflame them beyond thought. I mean that literally, beyond thought. Because if they said, huh, that's something different. Let me explore it. Let me understand it. Let me take it in and do something with it. And then maybe I'll decide I don't agree with it. But I'm not going to disagree with it because somebody else told me. I love all these people who are fighting for individual freedoms and want to be their free and independent self, but don't do their own thinking. You're not fighting for a free, independent self if you can't really define what you're fighting for. You're fighting because somebody else set you up to fight for them. And unfortunately, it's usually because it benefits them, not you. Namaste.